What's a mild inconvenience that drives you fking crazy? When someone goes to shower bathroom right as you were about to. Washing your face in the bathroom sink and the water trickling down your arms towards your elbows. Bonus fury if you're wearing a sweater and get the sleeves wet to remind you of your stupid mistake for hours to come. Stop lights feel timed so that if you go in one direction for a few miles and you have to stop at a red light. Chances are you will have to stop at all the red lights in that direction. When two people in a shop stop. Trolleys side by side and block the entire aisle just to have a conversation. Clicking on a button. Except that the button jumps just as you're clicking and you get the wrong button. This happens often when an app opens a new window and it takes time to fill up all the contents. Edit. The one I see every day at work is my web conferencing app. I want to share a spreadsheet with the other people in the meeting. But then it jumps and I share it instead. Walking through the city late at night after work. When I'm crossing a side street near the train station. Taxis will inevitably see me coming and pull up right in front of me so I have to walk around the back of them. Every single night. I tried a different route but it's longer. I tried waving them off. But they just come quicker. I tried running so I can get there before they block my path but they just accelerate. I think the only solution is to run up and do a hood slide. Apparently I am the exact height to have my pockets get caught on my drawers in the kitchen. I swear my basketball shorts will reach for the drawer handles and grab them. Makes me see red. Edit. Wow this blew up. I won't feel quite as angry now that I know all of Reddit has this issue. <laughs> Dropping your keys trying to open the door. It always happens at the worst possible times. Like when you got a piss real bad. Or your hands are full with bags. <laughs> My earbuds being caught by their cord behind something and then getting yanked out of my ears. Infuriating. I wear knit trial gloves at work and putting them on is a pain when my hands are sweaty or damp at all. I can't get my fingers inside and the knit trial clings and twists and it feels awful. Slow walkers on sidewalks just move the FCK out of the way. Amendment. I'm speaking about the PPL that are in the way not just slow but the ones you can't get past after an attempt or two or that just flat out make it impossible to go around. They aren't so bad but the ones that walk slowly and all over the place suck. <laughs> when someone opens my door. Comes into my room for a few seconds and then leave the damn door open. Sure I could get up and close it. But I did that last time you came in. And the time before. <laughs> Google putting two f king ads on YouTube now. Then these fuckers think they're slick by making em exactly 5 seconds long so you can't skip em. <laughs> Slow drivers on left lane. If I were supreme dictator my first order of business would be to form a highway patrol of psychos dressed like Mad Max characters to cruise the highways and run these assholes off the road. <laughs> Having to untie my shoes to put them on. I always try to just slip my foot in but then I crush that part at the back and fck up the shoe. I'm most comfortable in sneakers but the slip on ones don't look as nice. Stroke. <laughs> Socks that are too loose. Especially at the ankles. Sweating. I hate sweating so much. I just feel incredibly gross. <laughs> people that think that having kids gives them special privileges to be the loudest and most annoying people in a given public space. Also people that act like their kids aren't their fault. Usually the same. <laughs> Currently watching a video about a man petting an elephant seal and it has the audacity to buffer at the time when the guy actually scritch scrotches the baby seal. Like internet what the actual fck I'm trying to not be depressed here and you go and do this to me. <laughs> Sometimes my xbox controller will desync and I have to get up. Walk 4 feet. And manually push the buttons to reset it. After a hard day's work you might as well be asking me to drag a cinder block 3 miles uphill. After swearing I'll sit there and consider how bad I actually want to play Xbox today. Same thing with the TV remote. Seems the more tired I am. The more apt it is to be across the room for some reason. I swear my appliances teleport when I sit down. <laughs> Intros on YouTube videos. Like get the point. 
I don't need you to read the product label or tell me what you were thinking in Target when you purchased it. The AC makes me freeze despite it being hot as the devil's nutsack outside. <laughs> For some reason when browsing Reddit on the mobile app after 20 or so videos it will stop loading GIFs and videos entirely and you have to restart the app. It also preloads 100 plus posts while on mobile data and video quality is randomly so deteriorated that it feels like looking at an Ez cutscene. Not to forget to mention that it doesn't save sorting preferences at all. The app is all around a very shitty and inconvenient experience. <laughs> ATM fees. I will walk to another one. Even if it's ages away just to avoid paying a fee even if I'm wildly inconvenienced in the process. Yes I know it's petty. <laughs> you know that moment when you're trying to sleep and then there's that song comes playing in your head. On loop? F king earworms. When people driving on the highway see a cop sitting off the side of the road ahead, watching for speeders. And slow down to like 15 under the speed limit. Like you know that's also impeding the flow of traffic. People who don't stop talking. Just STFU. Hosting a beating at work. But you've drunk too much water? That feeling of needing to get to the toilet but you have the rest of the presentation to go through. That sucks. So yeah. Needing to piss whilst giving a presentation. <laughs> Biting my lip then having to avoid the sore for the next week while I eat. Even worse, biting an already bitten lip. <laughs> Addition the dishwasher not being clean because another was up against it due to some fuck with not loading it properly. <laughs> having to scroll 5 pages to get to the recipe. Yeah okay I get it. You lost your virginity on a warm spring day and then ate this salad. Get to the point. When I get in an elevator and I'm riding to a high floor. And just before the doors close a bunch of people get in and they all stop on a different floor. Turning what would have been a smooth ride to the top into a start stop. Jerky journey.